Here we are on the summit of Medicine Bow Peak. It's about 8 in the morning. Just had a nice hike up from Lewis Lake. Uh, in the background you can see, of course, uh, the Saddle Ridge of Medicine Bow Peak. And then behind the Old Main, looking down, there is uh, Lookout Lake, Lake Marie and Mirror Lake. And uh, looks like that little lake over there faded behind Old Main. There's just looks like a puddle from here. I believe is Lake 409. I'm going to go down see if I can find the wreckage of the plane. I'm going to hike down along the ridge, go down the top of Old Main, scramble down what I assume to be the plane crash gully where the plane crashed into just 60, 60 feet shy of the summit, and uh, hike down, see if I can find some wreckage, and just have some fun, but great view from the top. So looking back on Browns Peak, Sugarloaf, and the summit of Medicine Bow Peak, uh, after descending the trail from the summit and heading down towards the Lake Marie Trailhead on the trail, um, just a couple hundred yards off the trail and marked by a sign we have the old fire lookout station. It's uh, kind of a sad looking structure these days. A um, little bit of uh, masonry right there, putting together some of the rocks they are still standing. Doesn't really look like much of a structure itself. It's broken down and really degraded over the years, but you can definitely tell at one point it was just a modest little station, a little cabin that was pretty sturdy. It's lasted all these years. Not much left of it these days. Well, here in this gully where we have the last traces of snow in the snowy range melting away um, before they start falling again here in the next couple of months, um, I found this gully. It's a pretty good way to get down, relatively safe. I'm, I won't fall to my death, but definitely have to watch the loose stuff on the way down. So here it goes, gonna take the gully down, then hike along the base of the peak there. Uh, you can still see Lake 409, so hopefully we'll find something. Keep your fingers crossed. Well, coming out of the gully, that probably wasn't the smartest choice to descend that. I'm glad I made it out safely. Didn't really take any bad tumbles. It was kind of crappy. Still have a little bit of loose stuff to walk over, but here we have the diamond behind me. And then looking down below, it looks like that shiny stuff that I see down there is indeed some metal. That's Lake 409, so it looks like I've been successful in locating some wreckage. I'm looking up the hill even a little farther. I see more stuff. I might just kind of take a beeline over there to see what I can see by going up, but uh, this should be pretty cool. Assembly 507 4 indistinguishable indistinguishable 9 dash 1 contract perhaps 30 and the insignia says 990 wing so part of the wing
S I E. Well, I think this is my high point for today. I'm, you know, about 20 feet ago, I stopped seeing little broken up bits of, of plane and other little rusty artifacts. So I think the impact point happened just above me right here on this face. And then as we looked down, I found a little like a altimeter gauge or something down there. And you can see shiny bits down on the talus below. And of course, I haven't been down to 409 Lake yet to see that engine that I spotted from a distance. I found the the other the first engine I encountered was actually down there midway on the slope. It had three propeller um, receptacles or shafts on it, one of which was broken off, and the other two were just empty sockets. So we'll go down there and see what it has to offer. I can't believe it. It must weigh a hundred pounds.